Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the game in Windows computer or if the controller is not working properly. Now the first step is to enable or disable Steam input and then restart the game. So if you have the game on Steam, go to Steam. I don't have the game on Steam, but if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on FC26 and then go to Pro properties and then go to the controller tab. And over here, you will see disable Steam input, disable it. Now launch the game and then check. If that does not work, again, make a right click, go to properties, go to the controller tab. And this time you can try enable Steam input and check which one is working fine for you. But whenever you make changes, make sure that you relaunch the game and then check. Now, the next step is to enable or disable Steam overlay and in-game overlay in EA app. Now, if you have the game on Steam, then make a right click on the game and then go to properties, go to general tab. I'll show you a different game. Make a right click on the game select properties over here enable the steam overlay while in game if this is on you can turn it off and then check if this is already off you can turn it on and then check check which one is working fine for you try both on and off if you have the game on ea then click on manage and then click on view properties oh, sorry go to three horizontal lines at top left and then go to settings ea, EA app settings and then go to application now scroll down over here you can see in-game overlay you can turn this off turn turn it off and then you have to relaunch the game and then check if it is already off then you can turn it on and then check next step is to select the controller which you want to use restart steam and re and start the game if you have the game on steam you can restart steam if you have the game on eapp restart eapp so you can type in usb game controllers in windows search and then click on setup game controllers and now over here go to the advanced option so so click on advanced over here and you can select the controller which you want to use whichever controller you want to use select your controller and then you can relaunch the game and then check you can go to device manager human interface device in device manager make a right click go to device manager and go to human interface devices now over here if you find any controller which you are not using or if you find key key chrome keyboard or mouse entry over here you can just make a right click and then you can click on disable this is just an example i don't have any uh, this key chrome keyboard or mouse or any extra controller you can make a right click and disable it if you have key chrome razor uh, key chrome or razor hunt span you can disable it in the device manager if you find if you have it connected you can disconnect it like this dis disconnect it from the computer disconnect external keyboard from the computer any kind of external mouse or keyboard you can disconnect it and then relaunch the game if you have any kind of dongle for key chrome uh, keyboard or razor huntsman uh, keyboard uh, then you can disconnect the dongle disconnect any kind of dongle or usb con uh, adapter connected to the computer disconnect razor tartarus unplug flight simming hardware disconnect extra external devices like if you have OTAs, wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter connected disconnect it disconnect extra controller sometimes we have extra controller connected disconnect it disconnect arcade stick disconnect multiple monitor if you have any virtual controller like vjoy etc or any kind of virtual joystick application installed you can uninstall it or disable it and then you can relaunch the game next step is to lock the fps at 60 hertz and lock the fps at 60 uh, 60 uh, and then try vsync on or off so launch the game first so go to the game and then click on this settings icon over here top left and then click on settings game settings and at the top you can find display go to display now over here you can lock the refresh rate at 60 hertz so in my case it is already 60 frame rate limit you can set it to 60 or you can even try 30 so i will just keep at 60 and you can try with vsync off and on so first of all you can try turn off the vsync and then you can check if that does not work you can even turn off turn on the vsync and then check check which one is working fine for you and you can even go uh, try borderless you can go for borderless and then check if that does not work you can even switch to window mode but whenever you make changes make sure that you hit apply at the bottom and then you can check now the next step is to 
run the game on dedicated graphic card. Now for this, type in graphic settings in Windows search box, click on graphic settings over here, and then click on add desktop app, and then go to the game installation folder. So wherever the game is installed, open EAFC 26 folder, select the game EXE file, click on add. Once the game is added, now find the game in the list. Click on the game and then select over here high performance. You will see your graphic card and then launch the game. Next step is to disconnect and reconnect the controller. If you're using a wired connection, you can unplug the cable and, and, and then you can launch the game and then you can reconnect the controller. So try to disconnect and reconnect and then check. Next step is to restart FC26. Simply restart the game and then check. Non-Steam users add FC26 to Steam. Now you can install Steam from this link. The link is provided in the video description. And once you install Steam, uh, you can click on add a game and then click on add a non-Steam game. And then you can click on browse over here. Click on browse and then go to the game installation folder. So in my case, the game is installed in C drive. So wherever the game is installed, go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. Select the game exe file that is FC26 over here and then click on open and then click on add selected program. And then once the game is added over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, if you have the game on EA app, you can add EA app, add EA desktop app to Steam and then launch EA app from Steam and then launch FC26. Now for this, first of all, you can close EA app, exit, and then you can go to Steam and then you can click on add a game, non-Steam game, and then again click on browse and then go to the, wherever the EA app is installed. So in my case, it's in, uh, Go to C drive, program files, and then open electronic arts folder, EA desktop, EA desktop, and then find EA desktop app over here, exe file, click on open, and then click on add selected program. And once the EA desktop app is added over here, now launch EA app from Steam and then launch the game, and then check. Now the next step is to EA app users, go into task manager and close Steam. So if you have like if you have the game on e app you can close steam you can just go to task manager if you find steam over here you can just make a right click on steam uh, and then you can click on end task if you find any other steam services running over here any any steam services uh, just make a right click on all the steam services and then click on end task and once you close steam launch the game now, next up is to launch Steam or EA app as an administrator. Now, if you have the game on Steam, you can close Steam and then type in Steam in Windows search box and then make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. If you have the game on EA app, you can close EA app first, exit, and then type in EA app in Windows search box and then make a right click on EA app and then click on run as administrator and then launch the game. Next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode. Now, Steam users at the top right here, you can see enter big picture mode icon, click on it. Now, once the Steam is in big picture mode, find FC26 over here and try to launch the game from Steam when the Steam is in big picture mode. Now, still not working. The next step is to update controller using PlayStation Accessories app or Xbox Accessories app. So if you have Xbox controller, you can open Microsoft Store and then type in Xbox Accessories app over here. And then click on Xbox Accessories, install it and then launch Xbox Accessories app. And now you have to use uh, cable to connect. You have to use the wired connection. So make sure that you connect the controller using the USB cable. So once you connect it, let me connect it. Now, once you connect it, it will detect your controller. Now click on this more options, three dots over here, and then click on update over here, click on continue, and let the update complete. Once the update is complete, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Similarly, if you have the game on, like, if you have PlayStation uh, controller, in that case, uh, you can use, you can install this PlayStation Accessories app. So you can search in Google and go to the, official PlayStation website. Go to the official website and then click on download for Windows and then you can run this exe file. And once you run this exe file, you can install it 
after the installation, I have it installed already. So launch PlayStation Accessories app, and then again, connect your controller. Now, once you connect your controller, it should detect your controller. Now over here, uh, in my case, it's up already up to date. If you see update option, you can update your controller. And once the update is complete, you have to relaunch the game and then check. Now still not working. The next step is to use wired connection. So you can connect your controller using the USB cable to the computer and then you can launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.